was good. Fulcrum, come in. Yeah. Today, we're joined by my little baby right here. Look at her. Isn't she so sweet? You need a Oh, Jesus Christ. Nah, we're going to review the, uh, the, uh, the fucking Calico Bitch by Tay Flipper. Look at that. Ain't this thing goaded as a bitch? Yes, it is. And today, I don't know. I'm not really gonna fucking talk about it. This is the Calico by Tay Flipper. It comes from Canada. Costs like 60 bucks or something like it's pretty fucking good came in under a couple weeks so that was pretty cool the reason why i thought this would be a good one to talk about right now is because a little pooper is up here and i think this is if you got pets you should have one of these because like look she doesn't give a fuck it's so light it's harmless this one's quiet as shit. get your butthole out it's light it's quiet with tsa friendly in this bitch this is goaded, bro. And check it out. It does the scissors amazingly. I'm not good at them, but it can do them pretty good. So yeah, let's break it down for you boys at home. This is my favorite. This is the best plastic trainer. Oh God. And that said, I've only had the Squiddy B. Um, I've only had the Squiddy B. So it's not like I like know everything right about three print bow song, but this piqued my interest because why did it pique my interest that's a good question i don't know why i wanted one of these i mean honestly it just look cool I, like out of all the 3d printed ballast songs out there this looks the cleanest in my opinion i like that little little calico cat ears is uh I don't know, it looks cool. And his channel. When I saw he made it channel, I was like, ah, let's fucking go, bro. Channel 3D printed, what the fuck? What year is this? We out here. But that said, I can only compare it to the uh, Squiddy B. But in my opinion, this does everything fucking better. I mean, look at this. I mean, like it taps a little bit. But like only a little bit on this handle doesn't i can shake it lightly and it doesn't tap that is crazy tolerances are really fucking good for a 3d printed ballast song and it does the fucking sound test bro that's insane this thing is gucci main and no cap though when i first heard about these i was like really another 3d printed fucking trainer on goddamn market i was like we really don't need this shit it's like the the like when that one guy figured out how to make knife oil then everyone and their fucking mother started trying to make knife oil to get in on that money it's like dude we got cano group i don't think we need all these other fucking brands and that was my same thought with this and dude he had the customization options for this for like a lot of goddamn it was it came out like if you got everything custom it was like 165 bucks for a fucking 3d printed bell song i was like this is ridiculous but you know i don't know i think i i, I, I changed my tune i changed my tunis because yeah he said he, he made the v2 this is essentially a v2 uh tape flipper he made it channel and he made it cheaper so I was like, your boy fucking did it, bro. Not only did he improve the product, he made it more economic. Is, you, you could tell where his values were at, you know? He didn't wanna, he didn't wanna fucking run a train on the goddamn community. He just wanted to bring a good product that he believed in to as many people as possible. And I was like, you know what? I'll stop shitting on him. I'll fucking, I'll get one. You know, if it's bad, I'll, I'll tell people it's bad. But like, dude, oh my God, when I first got this shit, I was like, I mean, first of all, no tap with a light shake. I mean, this one, this hand, this handle's doing a little worse. But no tap with a light shake. It feels amazing. It doesn't feel like the last couple squeaky bees I got. Because the last couple squeaky bees I got felt like shit. They didn't tune them things at all. They didn't even try to make it feel good. I mean, who knows? Maybe they're fucking better now. I don't know. I've been burned too many times to really give that much of a fuck. But, um, this feels phenomenal. It feels fucking phenomenal, bro. Like, it's crazy that this is even 3D printed. This is like, it feels so well put together. And you can really tell that the guy cares. He really cares when it comes to putting these things together. Like, just picking it up and flipping it, you're like, damn. 
he got it as smooth as fucking possible. As smooth as you could possibly get on some 3D printed pieces and parts. I don't know how the hell he made it channel. It's like some fusing shit. I don't know. I don't know how they made the tolerances so good. And as an update post, it was like, just we got magic tolerance changes. And then like, shit feels like fucking magic, bro. It feels amazing. Fucking amazing. And I Loctited it, but like, I don't even think you need to Loctite these, honestly. They're so lightweight. It's like, the flipping it is barely even gonna like move the screws around and the pivots are press fit so there's even less of an issue with backing out i did go ahead and uh loctite it with that what is it permatex orange gel that is the uh hidden best loctite you want to get that permatex orange gel not the liquid the liquid is worse than fucking blue in my opinion but the gel is gas so i got it pretty tight and i've been beating it i've been flipping it I fucking love this thing, man. And like I said, it is amazing at ladders. Now, I am trash at them, but this is what I basically learned everything on. It's something about the balance, dude. It just makes it so easy to catch. Out of all my ballad songs, this is the easiest one to catch. And it's not just because it's a trainer. I have other trainers that I've tried this on, and this is... It's goaded. But yeah, listen, enough about some bullshit. Let's get into the balance of it. And the balance is weird. Let's just put it bluntly. It's fucking, it feels weird, especially at first. Because as you can tell, the only visible weights at least are in the blade. And you feel these balls right here. Blow. They carry a lot of the weight and that's where most of the momentum comes in. There is like metal pins in the back here. Honestly, I think I would enjoy it if it had the, uh, the spare pivot weights like Calico did, I think that would help the balance. But just because it's so good at ladders, like I, I don't even know if that would be a good idea because I don't know how that would affect that. But like, despite all the way being in the blade, it carries momentum really fucking good. Uh, the only complaint I have with it is that short stops feel a little funky. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but I think you can tell. It, I, I don't know, it doesn't feel like super confirmed. Like, I feel like I'm throwing it. I don't know, it feels a little weird, but as far as all the other tricks go, I mean, it does these hellishes or hellbenders pretty good. Great stick on chaplains, uh, fans quite nicely. It's really well balanced and it's cool because it's not a conventional balance. It's a very unique flipper, very unique experience just all around, given that it's 3D printed given that it's balanced the way it is. It just feels the way it does. This thing is cracked. And yeah, I've, I've dropped it a bunch too. I mean, you might be able to tell. It's, it's held up pretty good. I, I dropped this one about as much as I do my Nautilus, which is my other outside ballast song. I didn't want to drop it, but I was like, I mean, dude, it's fucking 3D printed. I could just buy another one if it really gets all fucked up. But it's been holding up, man. It's been holding up real good. But it's been holding up real good. Re I'm sorry. Very nice. I like it. And you should get one. I mean, for like what? Like 60 fucking bucks or some shit. I think you lowered the price to 55 plus shipping. That is so cracked, dude. I love that. Put together and made with care. Balance is good. It's durable does all the tricks you want it just has like a really weird balance and i think it's it's kind of um interesting to go between this and other knives brings me to my gripes and there's very few about it um the texturing from the 3d printing i mean you could feel it produces a weird sensation when you do these chaplains i guess who forgot something in the fucking video um i was talking about the cons on this thing and there aren't many but there is one that really bothers me and it's when you backhand fan that's something you can get used to but your finger gets caught maybe i just really did get used to it oh yeah there see that happens a lot at least at first it did with me really i mean the only way you get around it is you just like try to lift up your finger more and 
be more conscious of it or twist lower on the handle. But yeah, when you backhand fan, that can be annoying with this knife and it's not something I experience on any other battle song. But as you can tell, it's only happened up twice so far. It's definitely some something you can avoid when you look out for it, but it's definitely annoying. Uh, not sure how to address that, but it seems minor enough that it really doesn't affect all too much. Fast, yeah. Again, not a huge deal. Just is a little odd. And I think personally, I would like to see just a bit more ass weight, maybe bring back those, uh, those spacer pivots. That being said, the balance as it is, is still really good. And it's very unique. Any other plastic ballad song, any other ballad in general, it's not gonna flip like this. It's not gonna feel like this. This provides a unique experience. And for that, I appreciate it. I did have my doubts about Tay Flipper at first, but I mean, he's proved himself clearly that he puts these together with care, bitch. It feels fucking high quality as shit. It does not feel 3D printed. Feels like he went to a shop to get this done, but he does it all himself. He lowered the price for the new version. This is so good, man. Yeah, oh, let's do that close, too. It's bouncy on the clothes. What? You know, every 3D printed ballast song or plastic ballast song in general sounds like shit when you close it. Sure, it may sound good when you do this. Now, granted, you gotta do it lightly because if you do it hard, it definitely is louder and you can hear the slap, but it's still... There's still bounce there. I don't know, man. This thing is fucking goaded. So, yeah, if you got a pet, you should fucking get one. Oh, it's also extremely quiet. No, but how did I forget that? It's extremely quiet. You thought the Squiddy B was quiet? Nah, dude. This is a silent fucking killer, bro. I flipped this in the goddamn grocery store and no one even notices. It's great. Cause like, I mean, flipping is a loud hobby, you know? And it, it is unfortunate if you can like give a fuck about other people's experience when you're flipping it in public especially around your friends you don't want to be that fucking annoying guy flipping a goddamn bb bar fly are you flipping some shit like this no one around you wants to hear that shit this not only is it pleasant but it's very quiet and i really really appreciate that it, it like literally beats the squiddy bee on every fucking front and it's cheaper it's handmade had put together by hand by one person and it's cheaper than a fucking squiddy b it's more quiet i mean you could argue like i think the balance on this is really up to preference i could see myself honestly enjoying the balance of the squiddy b more this is just very different but if you get used to it like it's it's very good it does scissors amazingly yeah all right, I think I went on long enough. I'll cut this down somehow, but this is just so good. You need to get one of these. If you want to flip in the airport, Blue. around your pets, Blue. around your friends Blue. in public, Blue. without making a fucking ruckus. Blue. You want you want to be safe and support someone that cares about the fucking community. Blue. Get yourself one of these, bitch. It's great. Any ships to all sorts of countries. So no matter where you are, you can fucking get one. Uh, highly recommend it. Okay, make a left. I guess the video is over. Bye, everybody. Somewhere out in Yodi land, flipping knives, all kind of brands. And there is no cloning that. All I do is blow my cash on different drops and shit like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh.